Welcome to Chapter 3 of our enchanting tale, set in the heart of Coral Cove. Here, the vibrant colors of the coral reefs pulse with the emotions of its inhabitants. The atmosphere is thick with anticipation, as the once shimmering waters now feel heavy, overshadowed by the encroaching darkness of the Frosted Guardian. Join us as we delve into the story of four brave children, each a flickering flame against the overwhelming shadow that looms before them. Stay tuned as we explore their journey, their fears, and the light they bring to this underwater world. In the heart of Coral Cove, Luna steps forward, her iridescent hair swirling like the currents around her. She takes a deep breath, the salty tang of the ocean filling her lungs, and lets out a laugh, a sound that echoes through the depths, bright and clear. It is a sound that had once been a source of light, now a beacon in the dark. Luna confesses her fear of being too much, of laughing too loudly when the world feels so heavy. Her laughter, though fragile, shimmers like the sea lanterns above, casting a glow that momentarily pierces the guardian's gloom. Beside her, Finn, with his seaweed green hair tousled by the currents, steps forward. His bright blue eyes reflect the depths of the ocean, filled with empathy and understanding. He admits to feeling the sadness of everyone around him, a weight that threatens to pull him under. Yet, in this moment of vulnerability, both Luna and Finn find strength in their honesty, their voices resonating with the sorrow and hope of the sea creatures they so dearly love. Coral, the fierce protector, feels a surge of strength within her. Her coral red hair glows with determination as she declares that strength is not just about shielding others from pain, but also about nurturing joy and allowing oneself to feel happiness even when it's hard. Meanwhile, Nemo, the quiet observer, reveals his sketchbook, filled with the beauty of their world. He shares his fear of rejection, of his art not being enough, his voice barely above a whisper. Yet, it carries the weight of his vulnerability. As the children share their fears, the guardian writhes, caught in the tide of their emotions. The darkness flickers, as if the guardian itself is listening, absorbing the light of their honesty. The townsfolk, drawn by the children's courage, gather around, their voices rising in a chorus of shared fears and joys. Each confession is a wave, crashing against the Guardian's darkened form, creating ripples of light that begin to push back the shadows. In this moment of collective catharsis, the Guardian's icy exterior shimmers, reflecting the vibrant colors of Coral Cove. The darkness begins to recede, revealing the magnificent figure of ice and coral that once radiated joy. As the light of joy begins to restore the Guardian, the atmosphere shifts from foreboding to vibrant hope. The waters of Coral Cove sparkle anew, reflecting the laughter and tears of its inhabitants, a reminder that joy and sorrow can coexist, each enriching the other. The children, having faced their fears together, celebrate their victory, knowing that they have not only restored the Guardian, but have also discovered the true strength of their bond. This chapter closes with a sense of unity and triumph, as the children and the townsfolk embrace the full spectrum of their emotions, understanding that it is this very blend of joy and sorrow that makes their world so beautifully complex. Thank you for joining us in this journey. Don't forget to subscribe to Storyteller for more enchanting tales.